I'm doing a mini session for a client. If you're interested in checking out previous sessions I've done with this client, be sure to check the description for links. All right, so I'm gonna read the goal here. What is the Hall of Amanti? And are we in a simulation? Okay. I've never heard of the Hall of Amanti before. I can't wait to see what what comes up about this. And are we in a simulation? Okay. This is, uh, there's something really intense about this. It really affects my third eye in a way that it's almost like I, I'm being pulled into it. Um, it's also being pulled towards me and it's a really big structure with a lot of perspectives you could say it's almost like a beehive with many slats like uh, many rooms like a disco ball has many slats like it's not smooth it's many sided so you can see all the different reflective um, lights and how they bounce off the different sides I'm being pulled towards it but it is being pulled towards me as well and it really affects my third eye and my crown chakra. I, I feel like I'd be careful to define um, us as in it. I don't know that you would ever want to define yourself as in it. And perhaps because it itself is, I mean, what is it exactly? I feel like it's like a maze. You could get lost in it. I feel like their soul's lost in it right now. I feel like it could be quite a trial for a soul to explore going into it. In fact, I've had a dream about, this is bringing up a dream that I recently had. It wasn't necessarily recent, but it was within the last month. And I saw myself going through worlds of fun. And it wasn't fun at all and I found a doorway that I could leave it world of fun and I left world of fun only to enter to the other side and there was all these souls here celebrating because nobody ever leaves worlds of fun once you enter into it you never leave it so if you're able to leave it it's like inconceivable triumph inconceivable um accomplishment However, once I walked through the door when I had left it, um, in all the celebration, I was so disturbed in the dream. And I was angry at all these souls that were celebrating me. Because any soul that goes in there, it's like, uh, it's hell. It's, it's what I call the mindfuck reality that you'll never get out of it. So that is what this reminds me of. What's interesting, I meant to say this about the dream, was I had to learn, when I left, I had to learn that it's not just about me, it's about everybody. And so I have to understand that other people have ways that they need to express themselves. Um, that I should be patient and appreciative of them being there after such an extraordinary event, even if it was soul crushing. Because that's part of, like, life is this never ending cycle of learning and interacting and discovering again and again and again and again. So, do we ever really leave it? The whole point is learning, expanding, growing. But how do we conceive of that? 
and we're working with ego, we're working with mind. So everything's always going to be kind of, um, it's going to be a part of the complexities of how a human tries to understand a human's own existence. How will a human ever understand its own existence? by making it more and more complicated and going through a more complicated maze of self-reflection that you can never get out of and you will never find yourself within it while you are in it and never even realize it. There's just so many mirrors, you know. There's just so many ways that light bounces off of so many different perceived realities and perspectives forever. I feel like simplifying it down is how you set yourself free. When you simplify it all down. So even right now, because I'm exploring this, I feel weight, major, 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 major weight here. Um, and it's about the third eye in the crown. It's so much energy weight. It's almost crushing. I feel like there's value to exploring this. Um, almost like the hall of uh, amen amenity. I think, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. I've never heard of it before. Am Amanti? Um, it feels like it could in itself be its own wise source energy, its own wise um, kind of the spirit of itself, like you could talk to it. Um, whenever you feel like you've run into a roadblock in your life, you have to overcome yourself. So if you were to go in to talk to the Hall of um, Amanti, um, you could actually talk to it as a whole consciousness. Ask it how you can grow. How you can see yourself in a new way. I, again, I feel that there's some kind of dark side to this. Uh, and it, I feel it on my throat right now and in my heart. And it's like pulling, like pulling my heart in my throat. Like, okay, this is the next thing that comes to me. It feels like there's a lot of darkness in it. So I don't know how the darkness got into it, though. <laughs> because I don't know that it necessarily would be dark in, in itself. Unless dark got into it. If this is what we consider, for instance, an overlay, like part of our lessons and, and earth and our collective as a human race, and we're working through this hall of Amanti. Let's just say, like my dream with worlds of fun, and somehow I went through the door, I found my way out of it somehow, okay? It's, it's full, it's like, it's full of darkness. And it does not want you to be set free. It wants to pull you into its pain. It wants to pull you into its own suffering. It's like a heart that has been hurt so badly, so abused, so degraded, defiled, so alone, so empty, so um, angry, so many human emotions, unresolved human emotions. It's a contaminated dark heart. And how will this be cleaned? How will this be purified? I don't feel that this, I would not define this as a simulation. I would define this as uh, a soul wants to see itself in its many sides. Is it a simulation for the soul to see itself? Perhaps. Perhaps literally everything is simply a part of self-discovery. The soul enters into a self-discovery experience. Um, it chooses this self-discovery experience. And imagine it duplicating infinite numbers of times every second. Like it's duplicating itself and the many mirrors and the reflections upon the mirrors forever and ever 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 and ever. And all of this a single soul for growth. What not a better place for a soul to find itself? 
if it wants to grow, right? But in the process of growing, it feels like so much has been shed in the process of growth of so many souls. This place has to get purified eventually. I don't understand how it will, though. It's like a lot of shed skins. And in those skins is the suffering. So the souls are growing and shedding the skins and the skins remain kind of alive like shadow. I don't feel like this now in saying all that. I don't feel like this um, has to um, contaminate us. In fact, I feel like we could simply choose to see all of a sudden and now there wasn't any skins, and there wasn't any shadow, and there wasn't any pain. So where's the illusion? Where's the truth? In order to really grow, you have to go through the pain. Otherwise, it's like reading about pain in a textbook and trying to understand it by thinking about it versus actually going through painful events, painful experiences. You have a lot more to say when you have a lot more stories to tell than just saying, well, my friend went through that and I read it in a textbook here and I watched some movie where that happened versus I went through it. And so this Hall of Amante kind of, it makes me feel like it's souls entering into human life reminds me of that and going through the experience of self-discovery experience of growth so is it really dark um, or does it just simply feel that way because you're going through the pain of it you're going through it in order to resurrect in order to um, find the doorway um, to the next thing it's truly it I feel like there's so much more to this, but I this is a pretty good um, look at what is quite, um, I mean, it, it's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. What this is, is whoa. It's a lot. I'm definitely going to be thinking about this for a while because... I mean, there's a lot of depth to it. Hmm. Thank you so much for this experience. Thank you for introducing me to this. Thank you for introducing us all to this. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> That's all I have to share. Um, for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm doing many sessions on Patreon. If you're interested in joining, um, you can visit me at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. I also have two other YouTube channels, so you can find me at abbynormal and zodiac energy readings. All right. Thank you all for watching again, and have a great rest of your day.